Okay, so I've had a few people ask me about uh, how to do the auto tune on the Rex C100 uh, PID temperature controller. Um, I've just put 20 litres of uh, tap water in here, just uh, straight out of the hot. You can see it's reading 47.3. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to uh, program the auto tune. Okay, so first of all, you hold down the set button for about five seconds, and it brings up alarm one. Scroll through to the next one, and you see A uh, looks like an R, but it's actually T. So that says A T U Auto Tune. So then we hit the up arrow, and then we hit set. Okay, so there you've got your P, which is set to point nine, point nine, sorry, uh, which is your proportional. Um, <clears throat> hit set again, and we'll go through your I, which is uh, um, <clears throat> your in integral or integral, uh, which is set point 24 here. Um, I'll just put some random figures in what my other heat exchanger element was set to. Uh, and then you hit uh, D for your derivative, and that uh, is set to 6. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit set. And... You can see the auto tune flashing there. Well, that bottom light there, that bottom green light, is actually auto tune. Um, <clears throat> it's important to remember I haven't uh, actually connected the uh, power source, the element yet, um, just for the course of this. Uh... Okay, so I've got that set to uh, 60 degrees. It's important to remember to have it set. Um, to a temperature you want to get to and uh, it will cycle the power to and from the uh, through the um, PID so it gets to where it needs to. Um, I hope you can hear that but the temperature element sorry the heating element is uh, just kicked in. You can't really see that but uh, trust me you might be able to hear it just just started. Um, And what that'll do is it'll just cycle through the power until it gets to 60 degrees and that will auto tune it to that element to um, the temperature probe and um, hopefully it should hold temperature within uh, plus or minus 0.1 of a degree. Okay, hope this has been helpful. Uh, later. Okay, so <clears throat> just coming back now to the uh, getting up to temperature now um, you'll see that auto tune light there that green light flashing at the bottom um, hopefully when that gets to 60 degrees and um, it's finished doing its tune it will uh, it will just go into normal operation um, okay so it's gone to 60.1 you see that top light that's gone off that's the uh, showing it's got power to it and pulsing it. Um, the tuning it seems to have overshot there. Uh, so that's the auto tune still doing its thing. Um, and when that uh, temperature comes down, uh, could have a bit of recirculation in this and sort of help it uh, maintain an even constant temperature around the uh, around the temperature probe. It's not ideal the position I've got it in. I've got it down the bottom here. Uh, probably should have it halfway up. But the pot I bought was already was already um, had the hole in it, so I wasn't going to drill another one. But that's just going to go through its tune uh, uh, tuning process, and um, once it's finished, it uh, hopefully will hold temperature a lot better. Okay, so it's dropped back down. Uh, you can see that uh, top green light. It's um, that's giving power to the element again. And the tune's still going through. See what happens this time if it overshoots or not. It's just a 2200 um, watt element I've got in there. It's a 70 litre, sorry, 80 litre uh, HLT. Um, I'm not that interested in uh, being that accurate with this. Uh, within plus or minus one degree, so good enough for me for 
for the purpose I use it for as um, more concentrated on my heat exchanger that's uh, probably more important uh, for getting mash temperatures um, pretty accurate not so much for just this hot water Okay, so I came back uh, from picking up the boy from school and now you can see it's holding the temperature perfect there. Um, you can see that light flashing on and off, it's just pulsing uh, power to that um, to the heating element. Um, just one thing I will say, it's important to remember that um, I'm no expert and don't have all the answers but uh, and also that <clears throat> um, every system is going to be different. So those random settings I had in there um, on the PID, the proportional integral and derivative, um, they're going to vary for your system. So um, just keep that in mind. Um, you see this dropped down to 59.9. And um, the other important thing to remember is also make sure that you, you don't interrupt it on the auto tune. Just let it do its thing. Sometime it can take ages. That's why I suggest um, just putting in a small amount of water, like a 20 litres. Um, I'll fill it up. And do another run on it and see how it goes and uh, maybe um, if it doesn't hold it as close I'll, uh, I'll do another auto tune on it but um, anyway hope this is helpful